the um, review of your book yet? No. I, well, I, so I've got some. I mean, when this is being taped, by the time this runs, you, I have it right here. Would you, I'll give it a chance to look at it later. Um, let me just say, that without going overboard, it is a positive review. So, uh, so I can <laughs> relax. <laughs> uh, it's by Jonathan Rosen, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was looking in here, and I can't find it quickly. Um, but one of the things that uh, Mr. Rosen mentioned was that in the end, and I don't want to try to paraphrase it too much, but in the end, you point out that she, this is not, the end of the story is not a very pretty story, and that uh, you, you go into some detail about how she died and what life was like at the end. Has that been done before? Um, there was a um, documentary um, before, which is called um, The Last Seven Months, done by um, a uh, documentary maker in, in Amsterdam, Willy Lindva, who did a, a really great job finding um, survivors, female survivors, who had met Anne and her family in the camps. So that were interviews um, telling about their personal experiences in the camp and how they met um, Anne and what, what they experienced meeting her. Um, I found even more people who, um, who met Anne Frank, for example, uh, a school friend of her who now lives in Sao Paulo in Brazil, and um, who could remember very well the, the vivid, living, um, extroverted, funny, uh, sometimes very difficult Anne Frank of school times, and then this a uh, broken girl with a shaved head and um, completely desperate um, in Bergen-Belsen and who could tell me also a lot about what life was like there in these days. One of the things that Jonathan Rosen, who's a culture editor of the Forward, uh, a newspaper, says, unfortunately though we are shown a parting glimpse of Anne dying, we are given no sense of the people killing her. Nazism in this uh, book is an unexamined evil, abstract as an illness that Anne and her family avoid catching for as long as possible. Mueller prefers, after describing the arrest, to tell a seemingly straightforward narrative beginning with Anne's birth in Frankfurt in 1929. You, did, did you purposely not m talk a lot about the Nazis themselves? Well, I think I did um, talk uh, and then I did try to talk about the Nazis and I did pers try to personalize it as well. Maybe he's um, right that I could have done it more. And um, um, you can always add um, things to a book to make it better and of, um, maybe it's a good remark. Where do you live now? Um, I still have... Uh, a basis in Munich, but I'm most of the time in Vienna. And who do you work for when you're not talking about your book? I'm um, a freelance writer for several German and Austrian magazines and news newspapers. Where did you get uh, your education? In Vienna, um, at university, and uh, v uh, Vienna University. And what has this experience been like for you writing? Is this your first book? Um, it's not my first book. I have written another book, but it's um, um, the, f uh, the biggest work I have done until now, to and put it this way, and, and, and the, f uh, the most important work that I have done until now. When did you finish the book? Um, last summer. When was it, was it pub published in Europe before it was published here in the United States? No, it was published simultaneously, so the translators had a uh, really hard job um, trying to um, catch up with, with what I've done, but we managed. Um, and I had a fabulous editor at, 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 at Henry Holt Metropolitan, Sarah Burschel, and so um, I'm happy that it was brought out at the same time. Who owns uh, Metropolitan? Henry Holt? Is it Metropolitan Books? Yes, um, it belongs to Henry Holt, and it is... Um, and who bought the book in the first place? Who was the person that liked this idea? It was Sarah Berstel and Michael Naumann. And Michael Naumann is doing what now? 
he is now um, going to be the state minister of culture in the new German government. <laughs> Did you ever meet him? Oh yes, I met him several times in New York and um, by chance I met him also in, in Munich where he was for a pre-election um, campaign. How many copies did they publish all together, do you know? I don't know that exactly. How many languages was it published, published in? Uh, in the beginning, now it was pu published simultaneously in German, Dutch and uh, uh, English and it will be published in uh, spring next year in Japanese, French, Italian, Swedish, Finnish, um, many languages. And how many places and countries have you traveled to to promote your book? To promote my book only in the three countries that it was published until now. To research in many more countries. And what's been the reaction from your standpoint? How controversial was this book over in, in uh, either Germany or Switzerland where the Anne Frank Foundation is? Well, in the very beginning um, it was all about the five pages. And I am thank God people who read the book realized that although of course it's an exciting thing that um, I was able to find these five unpublished pages, they are just a small part of the book and um, they add something to the story but it, they are not the story. Um, there is much more in the book that I think is of interest and that can understand, uh, can add to the understanding uh, of Anne Frank. And the reaction mostly was very positive. People were surprised that there was no such book until now. And I think they appreciated that there is one now. Do you think you would like Anne Frank? Um, I think she was a quite difficult person, a very outspoken, very direct. She hated lies and she was um, very often uncomfortable being so direct. But uh, I think I would like her I think I would um, admire her having an opinion on things and standing up for this opinion. This is something I, I find um, very special on people even and I, I, I find that more people should have even if it's uncomfortable and controversial often. What did you do with your own diary when you were a kid? Well I still have them in a box somewhere at home but um, as I was living a very comfortable free life and I had um, the chance to do whatever I like, like meeting friends whenever I wanted. I never kept my uh, such an intensive diary like Anne did. This is what the book looks like. The author, Melissa Muller, has been our guest. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me.